Robert! Yo, what's shaking, AC? Not much. What is shaking with you? Listen, it doesn't matter. I, I don't really want to talk any small talk or pleasantries today because I just stumbled upon the best stock investment I've ever found, okay? For anyone who's listening that missed the Wall Street Bets short squeeze of GameStop or AMC or any of those other ones and you're kind of beating yourself up, I could have got on this train. I got a new one for you. This one is going to the roof. So are you ready for this? Wait, you're going to, but we're going to tell all the people that watch the Andrew Rob Brands? Yep, because that's the whole purpose, right? Everyone buys it and, and they but manipulate the market. First. Okay, got it, got okay. it. I'm ready. So write yeah. this ticker down. Everyone pull out your yeah, pull out a piece of paper. Yep, Sharpie. Yeah. Here we go. Y R S L F. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you talking about investing in yourself? Exactly. The most valuable asset you have. It's like a stock and you got to make sure it appreciates. You need to invest in yourself. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> invest in yourself. All right. Let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. Yes. So like, I mean, I think it's important for everyone to invest in themselves. I think it's even more important for entrepreneurs to invest in themselves, because if you're able to create that foundation of a strong person, so to speak, what? I'm just thinking about how all, everyone's so disappointed because <laughs> they thought we were actually going to tell them like a, <laughs> we, are, we are. Okay. Keep going. Okay. So as an entrepreneur, you're going to have tons and tons of crazy days and nights. Stuff isn't going to work. You're going to be stressed, all this sort of stuff. You need to make sure that you have the proper foundation personally to deal with that. Whether it is health, you know, go to the gym or, or take on some, some ailments that you might have, whether it is something psychological like your mindset or a relationship with a family or friend or, or whatever's holding you back, you've got to invest in that in yourself to get through that and build a solid foundation to become a rocking entrepreneur, right? Like, what do you do to invest in yourself, AC? Oh, I like it. Well, um, I, I definitely working out and go to the gym is in the, in the pool and I swim and all that's really important part of my investing in myself. Um, mindset, uh, taking time in the morning to do my Wim Hof breathing. We could talk about that another time. Um, but basically grounding myself and taking that time is, is key. And then, and then also I don't work late at night, like a lot of entrepreneurs, I, I'd rather get up early and start my day early and, and, and work hard during the day. I try to take the time at night to spend a little time with the family and recharge and, and get ready for the next day. So those are a few things. What about you, Robert Bruski? What do you do? <laughs> well, I mean, I do a lot of those as well. Recently, I've been focusing on um, encouraging the development of happiness chemicals within my body, right? So okay. happiness hacking, mindset hacking. So this is things like dopamine, Oxy, oxytocin, serotonin, uh, endorphins, all the stuff that, that gets that going. Did I get those right? I think I got I those right. Like you got the syllables on the right syllables. <laughs> the emphasis on the right <laughs> syllables. The, the emphasis on the right syllables. <laughs> um, so uh, that's that's what I've been doing a lot of lately because especially okay. during difficult times, you got to have your mindset. But traditionally, what I do a lot of is um, self-growth in terms of learning and trying to procure more uh, valuable assets to the asset that is yourself, I guess. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. That sounds like a weird <laughs> sentence, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Theoretical, but um, if that's the right word even. We're doing so awesome today. When it comes to uh, investing in yourself and growth, I, I think you're right. Like there's things that we can do on a physical level to feel better. Um, but then also like the intellectual investment into ourselves, growing and developing intellectually. And I think that can be anything from having a, you know, a, a, an executive coach to having, um, taking courses and, and, you know, listening to podcasts. And, and actually that's another thing I do every morning. I usually listen to either a podcast or a YouTube video that I learn something new. Like I'm just a big believer in growth and being and always growing. Um, when it comes to, you know, the, the world of, of entrepreneurship, as you said, like we, we, we're currently learning new things and, and it's just not fun to just be stagnant. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, it's like for myself, there's there's a lot of reading that's involved. I mean, these days it's a lot more clubhouse. We were just on one with Lewis Howes and Brendan Burchard and, and Chris Voss. But there's a lot of reading books of every sort, usually nonfiction books that I consume to try to get as, as smart as possible. But it also has a lot to do with who I hang around with. You know, Gary Vee always talks about this is you need to audit your friend circle. You need to make sure that the people around you are stimulating. I've got a group chat with my friends and I jump on there and it always drives me up the wall. These guys piss me off so much, but it's because they're always talking about contentious issues and issues that are, you know, front page news that, that you want to get so involved in and learn about everyone's opinion, not just what you're seeing on TV. So should you get out of that group? Yeah, actually. Me. <laughs> are you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah. We'll edit that out. Hey guys, anyway, sorry. Um, if you're listening to this, you're still my friends. Yeah. Sorry, you're not my friend anymore, unless you could start being nicer and fun and more fulfilling. Yeah. Like you actually, Angela, you were talking recently about an app that you use that, that was, um, I think Jennifer brought up on your small business roundtable for, for helping people read. You know what I'm talking about? Blinkist. Yeah. Yeah. So a Blinkist is great. It uh, summarizes books for you. So, um, you know, usually when you read a book, I don't know about you, but like, I usually don't really like professional growth books and development, I don't really need to read them cover to cover. Like you can go in and like get the nuggets out of them. It's basically, basically what Blinkist does for you. That's a lot of bees, Robert Brewski. <laughs> um, that, that it, it summarizes things into like blinks, little chapters or whatever. And so, yeah, I love to listen to that. You know, even when it comes to uh, our physical um, activity and things like that, I think it's important to be always kind of trying to take things to the next level. And I'm not saying like going crazy and hardcore and everything we do, maybe sometimes our brains need a little break from, from pushing ourselves. But for me, like when I'm swimming, for example, I do certain drills and I try to like each time I swim or maybe not every single time I might not increase, but you know, it's just like lifting weights. Like if you always just lifted the same weights, eventually your body's just going to get used to it and you're not going to be, you know, growing and developing and stuff. So I think that all, everything we do, is kind of like, if you set targets and achieve uh, the next level there, it brings that level of confidence, especially yep. if it's more challenging than you expected it to be. So yeah. you're, you're exercising everything, right? Like you can exercise your body, you can exercise your intellect, you can exercise your mindset, but what you can also do is you can exercise your willpower. Willpower is just like a muscle. When you think about it, somebody, when, when they go to a, a, a job that's really draining on them socially or physically or whatever, and they get home, they're done, right? They just want to pass out. They, they don't want to do anything, but the longer they do this job, the less done they become at the end of the day, because they've exercised that willpower to continue going right and so willpower is a muscle and you should you should work on exercising that as well especially as an entrepreneur or a franchisor or franchise or as anyone really you know whoever I mean? you are <laughs> yeah, whoever you are everyone just yeah. do everything <laughs> but also it's also endurance because i remember when i i remember when i was uh when i was out in the field working with franchisees you know i was like my first kind of real job after university and i was i was you know, getting franchises up and running and, you know, setting up their stores and, and then working with them. So it was like physically and mentally very tiring, very, very tiring. I mean, I was young, fortunately, but we often were putting in like 12 hour days easily back to back for two weeks straight until we got that store open and then would go on. Sometimes I did back to back openings. I'd go to the next city and do another store. And it was amazing how much my endurance at the beginning, I was like, I can never do another one. And then, but over time it became just your body gets used to it. So I think that's kind of like what you were saying with the, the willpower and, and it's endurance too. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people uh, misunderstand <laughs> what. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you're like, mm. I mean, I, I think what I was referring to in terms of willpower is a little bit more grit and moxie, you know, sometimes it's easy to pack things in, in the first quarter or the second quarter of a game and be like, okay, nothing's going to happen. But if you've got that willpower to endure the third quarter or the fourth quarter, you're going to crush it just like the Raptors did to the magic the last two games. Uh <laughs> <laughs> but but it takes time to get there and train your willpower um you know what i mean and i think a lot of entrepreneurs know this and they do this and franchisors do but sometimes they overlook the fact that people don't see it you know they're like a duck they're calm on the surface but they paddle like hell underneath right wrap it up wrap up time all right all right three two 
one. Go, Go be awesome. Uh -huh.